What's up guys? Today I figured I'd do a, a fun little project. Um, so if you're like me, um, anytime you travel, um, I usually like to pick up stickers from anywhere I've been. Um, I tend to like stickers more than like a, a souvenir, um, just because I feel like souvenirs kind of bring clutter and, um, you know, I, I really don't want to buy trinkets that'll, you know, they sound like a good idea when you're traveling, but then you bring them home and then they sit on the shelf and gather dust and they really don't have much of a use after that. So I usually tend to get stickers for various places and things. Um, one thing I've learned is not everybody appreciates stickers like me and uh, particularly like if you live in an apartment or um, even if you're like me who has a house, but you may sell the house at some point, um, you definitely don't want to put a whole bunch of stickers on the wall um, because a lot of people probably won't like it and um, that could be seen as a negative because people have to peel all those stickers off so for me um, I, I've gotten creative over the years on what I'll put stickers on I used to put them on my car but I kind of got away from that um, but I'll show you one of the things I've done so in my garage I've got these cabinets and I've gotten one pretty well covered working on the next one uh, and then I have another one over here that I'm working on as well um, but I've started doing that. But when it comes to traveling stickers, I kind of wanted to put them in a different place that they would get more um, showcase. So the idea I came up with was to buy some um, sheets of Lexan. Um, I think these are actually, um, these are, are acrylic. And they were like 10 bucks a piece at Home Depot. Um, I remember when these were a lot cheaper than that. Um, I think with the way things are going, people are using these as sneeze guards and different things like that now. So uh, you might find like a, a small sheet of metal, maybe even a piece of glass um, or uh, wood, um, depending on your preference, you might prefer. I went with this because you can actually peel the film off and then it's pretty see-through. And so where there isn't stickers, it'd be nice to see the color of the wall behind it. Um, but and then it also kind of blends in with the wall being uh, translucent. So I thought it was a neat idea. Um, my plan is to basically just randomly put stickers on it over time um, and then uh, hang this on the wall. Um, so yeah, let me show you the tools that you'll need to do this and then uh, we'll get started. So as I mentioned before, uh, the purpose of this is so that it's removable. Um, one for if we ever sell the house and two, I'd, I'd want to take these with me. Um, so um, that's part of the motivation for this is to want to be able to take these with us um, if we ever decide to leave. So again, I've got the acrylic um, sheets that the stickers are going to go to. Then I bought um, command strips. I picked black because it fits the color scheme of our basement. Um, but these are the Velcro ones. It's your preference if you want to do Velcro or not. I chose Velcro to remove these uh, in case I ever want to change up the orientation of them or just make it easier to take them down in general. Um, so yeah, good set of uh, Velcro um, command strips, a level, a tape measure, and then not here is a pencil uh, to mark on the wall uh, so you can get it into the design that you would prefer. So yeah, now that we've gone over the tools you'll need, um, the stickers, uh, obviously, you know, your preference, you put whatever you want on there. These are what I have from various travels so far um, that I had left over that didn't make it to the, the cabinet I showed you earlier. Um, so yeah, uh, now I'm gonna throw the camera on a time lapse and then I'll show you me getting the wall prepped uh, and then I'll get this all set up. Okay, so as you can tell, um, I put this on the wall got a location, made sure it was level, and I marked it. Uh, then I fought quite a bit with the um, clear film that they put on this uh, to keep fingerprints and scratches and stuff off while it's being transported. Now that I have the plastic peeled off of one side, I'm going to attach the Velcro 3M stuff like I mentioned earlier to the back of this. What I usually like to do is attach it to the surface that I'm going to mount to the wall peel the back of it off while it's still attached to this and then push the actual object on the wall um, because then you're not having to align two things, you don't have to align one. Um, so yeah, so I'll throw this back on a time lapse and we'll do that right now.
Okay, so now you can see I've got the uh, first panel up. Um, I already got the uh, protective film peeled off of the other one, and uh, I've consulted with the foreman, or my wife, um, who has uh, said that uh, she would prefer that the glass uh, or the acrylic touches on the corners, um, and then as we expand, we'll do that up the stairs. And I have to agree, I think that would look the best. So now what I'll do is uh, throw this back on the time lapse. I'll show getting the measurements real quick, and then I'll put the, uh, the uh, Velcro strips on the back, and we'll put it on the wall. All right, and as you can see, we've got both panes up. The top pane still has the protective film on the front. That's why you see that sticker, so I've got to peel that off. Um, so yeah, now that I've got both of them on, um, over time, we're gonna go, you know, we'll add one up here, one up here, and we'll just keep going until they go all the way up to basically to the door. Um, and then maybe even come back this way and go, maybe start filling in. Just really depends on how crazy we go with this, but. I figured two panels was enough to start with. Um, I don't even have enough stickers to fill both of those up, so it's gonna take quite a while to uh, achieve that. Some of you may notice there's some paint here and there. Uh, we recently painted the stairs. We still gotta paint the door, um, but yeah, I've gotta touch up the walls. So I figured this was a good time to do this anyways. Uh, that way if we um, wanted to adjust or if we caused any damage, to the wall while we were doing this little project. Um, we would just fix it when we finished painting. But yeah, my plan is to come back and touch all that up, um, make sure the wall looks nice because we had just painted it before we did the stairs. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna throw some stickers on it and um, I'll come back with the final version. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Um, I don't have a lot of stickers for um, various places right now. I need to order some stickers from other places that we've been we just didn't collect at the time there's like a million different ways to put these on um so like i said you know get creative and choose your own way um whether it be the arrangement of the acrylic or even the stickers on the acrylic i mean there's like i said a plethora of ways to do it so there's not a wrong way to um arrange them but Hopefully this serves as an inspiration for um, somebody who had a similar idea, and um, if it did, um, you know, let us know in the comments below, and if you have any other suggestions to make this even better, uh, throw those in the comments as well. But thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.